the talk trip in the process uh, which led to this council acquiring this land and we are very keen to see it developed and there are two potential schemes which you can see us providing much needed affordable housing in this location and those two schemes would involve having either 18 dwellings on there which would be what the planners would call policy compliant and another scheme for 21 dwellings which would not be but would be compliant if we can acquire another small piece of land behind the dentists which we are attempting to do. So what we're looking to do tonight is to agree in principle that we develop the site and clearly we can develop for 18 subject to planning consent we would like to develop with 21 if we can get that extra bit of land to make sure the parking requirements are fulfilled to approve a capital budget not cheap 2.8 million and to agree that aspect building communities limited that is our housing um, house building company will be the preferred method of delivery for that site so i'll leave it at that I'll bring in the war council first council Yes, thank you, um, Mr. Chairman. Um, yeah, this is obviously very close to my heart, having been council for 30 years um, in the Highlands area. Um, I've watched every, probably every executive meeting, I've opened my um, envelope expecting to see the Hampshire Rose site, and I've been disappointed disappointed and disappointed and disappointed at nausea. Um, clearly this is a very valuable site uh, together with the two fair park road um, garden, housing garden um, and we want it for affordable housing. There is a huge crisis of affordable housing in this park and I have identified at least 35 brownfield sites in my world for new affordable housing. But the problem, of course, is money. Now, what I can't understand, in fact, Mr. Wanell can clarify this. Um, I'm only an economist, I don't do sums, but the, if you borrow money to build houses, don't you get the receipt from the rents to pay for the interest and capital on the money you get, on the money you spent. That's, to, to, to me, it seems obvious, but it seems to me there's a problem with that. If we've got £2.6 million and we're going to build 18 or 21 houses, there'll be less than affordable rents, which means 80% of market rents nowadays, um, and the rent income would pay the interest and a bit of the capital the 2.6 million pounds. So I can't see why there's a financial problem, to be honest. And in my ward, we've got Winton Way, which the county are not being very obliging about. We've got the Gouge Courts at um, Premier Road and, and Valentine Close. We've got the redevelopment of the Highland Shops, the ghastly 60s architecture there. There's a whole series of possible sites for affordable housing. We want more affordable housing in that area because it's already an area with a lot of social housing. And people want to be there, near their family, near their friends. And Fair North West is a very popular location anyway, isn't it? Um, so we need more. So um, I'm very happy to support this, but I do want to know why we can't do more. Um, as far as the 18 or 21 is concerned, I can't comment on that because the member of the planning committee that would be predetermination and therefore I would look with interest at such plans as come forward. All I would say is that we have to hold on one hand the need to maximise the number of units, the number of homes that we can provide, while on the other hand not going against planning policy because developers attend every planning meeting and they'll see what we're doing. So it's a, it's a, it's a nice balance. If we can achieve, as you said, Chairman, um, the acquisition of part of the dental surgery land, that would in fact provide us with an opportunity to, uh, um, 
to look at the scheme again. So, after two years, where the council has done very little, we now at last have a scheme. And I'm very, very pleased to support this indeed. If I had 10p for every time that a resident said to me, what's the council doing about the Hampshire Rose site, then I'd be a very wealthy man indeed. And give my money to a good cause. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councillor Davis. <coughs> I'm sure that uh, now you'll be able to tell all those residents what you that you need. And uh, use your own viability, of course, and where the money comes from, uh, then, yeah, eventually, rent will repay interest and capital. <coughs> and that's just how long they have to, <coughs> to do that. And that could be rather longer on this site than it might be on some others. And can I just come back and point out paragraph 20? Um, we'll give you the answer that Councillor Davis wanted about um, both the land and development, 26 years. Uh, we'll get the financial viability of this development. It's indicated that the 1800 unit development, the development will pay back the cost of both the land and development in 26 years. <laughs>